The following program was produced by the United States Courts. When I think about the struggles that I've had to overcome in life, I think the goal that someday things would be stronger and better and that I could make them better kept me motivated to do it. I grew up as the fourth out of five children in a big Irish Catholic family in Skokie, Illinois, where all of us um, felt very much like we had enough, uh, we never had too much, and we all just studied hard and that was expected. I think my family influenced my career choice in that they worked very hard to help people. And I wanted to go into a profession where I could help someone, where I could make a difference in their lives personally. I didn't picture myself fighting fires like my grandparents, but I certainly did picture myself using the gifts that God gave me. So as I was getting older and deciding what I wanted to do, I really wanted to be a journalism major, not a lawyer. And when I tested the waters there, I realized that that was not changing things so much as reporting about things, and I wanted to make a difference. I decided I would try law school, but my path was really atypical. When I was 16, I fell in love with a blonde-haired, blue-eyed boy at the all-boys school down the street. By the time I was 19, we were married and had one child. And by the time I decided to go to law school, I had a five, three, and one-year-old under my belt. So it was a little bit different than the usual path to the bench. I think most students were not changing diapers when they were reading their geometry books or their calculus books. And it was also a little unexpected to go to night school because when I had graduated from Northwestern University shortly after one of my sons died of SIDS. And so I took time off and went and got a master's part-time, slowly grieving and getting back on track. And then I made the decision to go at night and forego the, the day school and the big school name in order to be there for my family. There are times where these things happen and we have to just take that deep breath and acknowledge that we can't do it ourselves. Look at other people, look to other friends who can aid us, teachers, family, and then pull ourselves up and refocus and try to get back onto that path that will get you to your goal. The United States District Court for the Northern District of Illinois is now in session. The Honorable Virginia Kendall presiding. Are you available, Mr. Santel? There's so many times where someone will tell you you can't do it. There's so many times where someone sends a message to you that you're not good enough, and you have to reach down to the core and really remember that you have what it takes, because you know you can do it. And if you believe in yourself, you can do it. <laughs>